Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 31 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. In this video we can design our payment page, this includes a section to enter delivery address and option to select payment method, so let's get started. Before that we need to create buy button action in cart page, when clicking buy now button only logged in user can access the payment. In button buy click function, we need to check for user session. If session is not null redirect to our payment page. If not redirect to login page. Here there is no login session so it redirects to login page. Now if we login with user credential it redirects to user home, here we need to check if the user is coming from cart page, after successful login redirects to cart page. This is possible by passing a return URL as query string to understand where the user is coming. See we have passed the return URL to login page. In login button click, we need to check the query string and redirects to cart page. All working just fine. Now let's design our payment page, create a new page with user master. First let's design address section, we need 3 text boxes and 3 labels. Also we need to show price details in right side, so create two sections. Let's increase column in all text box divisions.
Also make address text box multiline. Now copy and paste price section from cart page. Delete button. Add padding top. One important thing is if you want to develop without internet connection, it's possible by downloading required JS libraries instead of using CDN. In our project we only use jQuery library, so go to jQuery and download latest jQuery file. Paste the downloaded jQuery file to our JS folder. Open user home master page and change all jQuery link. Remove jQuery from bottom, because we already call jQuery at page loading. Repeat this step for all pages. Now let's design our payment section. Create a division with 12 rows. We are planning to integrate more payment methods here, so we can use tabs. Here we use toggleable tabs. Create a new unordered list with our tab headings. Next create tab contents. The linking of tab and tab content is done by ID. The href tag of each list item calls the ID of tab content division. Also if you want to active the second tab change active class. Now everything works fine. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.